Hey guys, Spino Dude here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2015 Collecte Medusa Ceratops. Alrighty, so here we are with an interesting Ceratopsian figure from 2015 from Collecte. 2015 was right before Collecte's sort of rebirth, or reinvigoration rather, with their depictions of animals. This one is kind of a conflicting little figure for me. Let's start with something more positive, which is the coloration. I think the colors are lovely, very natural tones throughout. I like the hints of green popping in with the earthy browns and tans. Also the creamy underbelly. You also have the quills running down the tail there, which this figure was made pretty much in the heyday, if I'm not mistaken, when Ceratopsians were depicted with quills running down their rump. And I do really like the markings as well. The sort of faded black markings look great. And the head is actually my favorite part with the bordering with the black color. Sort of splitting off the sections of the face. It brings attention to the frill. It brings attention to the eyes. And little hints of white on the face as well. I also really like how the little nasal ridge is done in that brighter green color. I think that really helps bring more attention to the head. It looks quite lovely. As far as detail goes on this figure, nothing to write home about. It's older Collecte style of detail. There's scales there, but they're kind of smudged out in some areas and not too visible. I think the detailing is probably the best on the head. It's really hard to say with this one. Like the detailing is there, it's just not very prominent. I do really like the sculpt work on the head. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty close to the skull of Medusa Ceratops. I think maybe the front part could be taller and the Sort of the curve going forwards here looks a little bit strange, especially with the beak. But it is pretty close to, to the skull of Medusa Ceratops, so I like the big black horns as well. Those look really, really good. The eye in the black color is a great choice. I think that really looks naturalistic and quite lovely. The interior of the mouth is sculpted and painted in a fleshy pink color, although it is a little bit hard to see in there. You can see the tongue on the bottom jaw. Oh, and I also wanted to address the feet, because the feet look pretty good overall. There's the correct number of clawed toes on the front, the first three digits being clawed, the other two on the side are not. Five digits in total, great. But the front feet are just way too elephantine looking, and they're also really small. Like, the limbs overall are just way too small in the front. And I think in the back, the feet are a bit too small, but the legs are pretty proportional overall. Oh, and speaking of proportions, let me show you my least favorite part of this figure which is the dorsal view look at that that is this is a chonky boy this is a thick lad i mean look at that that's about twice as wide as it probably should be i i have to say i'm gonna bring in my favorite ceratops scene from collect day probably at the moment which is their regali ceratops in 2017 another standard figure you can see the heads while the head is slightly smaller here, they're pretty comparable in size there. Look at the dorsal view. It's basically half the size of that. And this is an older Collecte figure, but still, that's just, even the tails are similar size. Look, they're basically the same width, but looking down from the top, this is a chonky, chonky boy. Yeah, but anyway, since we have the Regalia Ceratops out, you can see that they do look really nice next to each other. Nice, vibrant markings on both. I do prefer the Regali Ceratops overall, but I do quite like the Medusa Ceratops. I think the the natural tones mixed in with the greens is, is really, really nice. I'd actually like to see a remake of the Medusa Ceratops with these same colors. I think that would look absolutely wonderful and have potential to be my new favorite Ceratopsian from Collecte if they do a deluxe one, especially. I also forgot to mention that the reason I got this figure is I went on vacation with my family and there was a little traditional toy shop on a like seaside shops area that I went to. And they had a few different Collecte dinosaurs there. They had this one, the Oliver Titan, and the Kentrosaurus, just three of them in like this weird little clear bin. And I was gonna get the Oliver Titan, but the more I looked at this one, the more interesting I found it. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna get this. It's only a few dollars. It's a great price, and it's a nice little token from vacation. I also quite like the pose on this one as well. I just wish it was put on a more proportional and 
less chonky figure it would look a bit more majestic. But anyway, if you're a fan of obscure ceratopsians with cool color schemes, then yeah, I'd say go for it. This is a cheap one, but if you're more of a fan of proportional, more natural looking ceratopsians, then I'll say to probably wait till Collecte redoes this one at some point. Still a pretty nice figure from the side, but just not a great representation of any ceratopsian besides Medusa ceratops with these proportions. Anyway, in case you're wondering how big this one is, it is about 5 inches long, which is about 13 centimeters in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the horns there. We're looking at about 2.5 inches, which is about 7 centimeters. And let's also measure the width of it for fun, which is 2 inches. That's basically almost half the length of this figure, that's pretty crazy. Two inches at the hips, which is about five centimeters. But anyway guys, that's going to do it for this review of the Collecte 2015 Medusa Ceratops. Let me know what you think of this one down below, leave a like if you liked, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care, and bye bye